Hello, Dr. James Bogash, expert in health longevity, and really debated whether or not to do this video on this study because it's, we're long past beating a dead horse about exercise and its benefits on pretty much everything that happens to human physiology. But I did think this one was kind of interesting and it has to do with wet um, macular degeneration. And macular degeneration is not a good thing. The macula is a region in the back of our eye that is really critical for fine focus. So things like reading or um, anything we may need to do, threading a needle, that the macula is the, the uh, principal component that we use when things require the best vision. So age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is unfortunately relatively common. Um, and wet macular degeneration has been treated with a very expensive medication. It runs about 21,000 a year, and it's done by injecting it into the eyes. Um, this drug alone was what put ophthalmology at one of the most expensive approaches um, on the Medicare payout list. But it's just because the drug itself is expensive. And it works for most people, and it doesn't always work completely. So two things to comment. First of all, protecting your vision is principal. We'd rather not have macular degeneration. Things like wearing sunglasses, things like um, lots of polyphenols in our fruits and vegetables and spices can help protect the eyes. Most notably things like bilberry, uh, which is a cousin of the blueberry and it has a high affinity, affinity, affinity for the retina and helps protect it. But in this study, they, they really looked at, at exercises ability to protect against or better manage um, AMD, wet AMD. And they found that exercise via the hormone adiponectin, which is a fat derived hormone, but levels go up with exercise. They found that adiponectin actually helped calm down and protect the eyes in patients with age-related macular degeneration, the wet type. So not suggesting that it will replace the injections, but A, keeping macular degeneration at bay so you never develop it, and B, maybe combining exercise with these, it, it's called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VDGF, and it's anti. So these drugs block the formation of brand new blood vessels. Adding exercise just, it's going to help your eyesight on top of everything else. So, geez, oh, Pete, if you're not moving, I don't know what else to say. But if you value your eyesight, then it's time to start moving or hopefully continue moving. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.